Hi dear students, welcome back to Wings Lecture. This is Vetri. In this video, I'm going to teach you that how to get input from the user. See, uh, you know that uh, you are going to create a software for the user, for the customer and those who are going to use it, right? So user has to give the input to you and you have to perform only the task which was assigned to you. So that's the uh, purpose of software, right? purpose of program, purpose of application, right? So, uh, let's start. First, go to new file, new file. So in here, uh, in last video, we have seen that how to work with uh, script mode, right? So if you have any doubts, you can go back and watch it, okay? So now, uh, let's start from the mistakes, okay? So what are the typical mistakes we used to do? See. So we know that the function name is input. If you are going to get input from the user, you have to use the function input. Okay. So here X is equal to input and then Y is equal to input. So I know that it's going to be a wrong program. It's, uh, it's not wrong actually. So it has some errors. Okay. So Z is equal to x plus y and print z okay so that's my script file save us sum of two numbers okay so now i have created it right you can make it small So meanwhile, you can see the screen. Okay, now go for run. See, you don't have anything on your console screen, right? So I'm the user, I'm the new user. I don't know anything about your application, about your software. For example, if you're going to ATM, so you have inserted your ATM on the machine. So it doesn't ask anything to you, right? So as developer, I know that what you have to do, you have to choose the transaction mode, then you have to enter your pin and you have to, what you have to do? You have to enter the money, then you can get the money, right? So you know all the processes, but as a user, as a customer, how can I do? I can, how can, I can know that one. So what are the procedures? I don't know anything, right? So I don't know anything about system means it will be very difficult uh, for the users. So what you have to do is, I know that, see here, as a developer, I know that. So first I have to enter one number and then value for Y, then I will get the value. See, actually it's error, I already told you that, right? So two plus three, actually the output will be five, but I here I got two, three. So I have performed concoordination operation, which means I have connected two strings. For example, see, Battery. Sorry, I'll run the program again. See, battery money. See, I got the output as battery money. So, actually, uh, what is my program? I'm going to add two numbers, right? So, you have to predefine everything before you give the program to or before you deliver the software or application to the customer. Okay. So, the procedures are, see, the procedures are very simple in Python. So, he, you know that input is the function to get the input from the user. Then, so you have to define the thing. Um, your input is going to be integer or float or string. So, addition of two number sum of two number definitely it's going to be integer i'm going to keep you can keep it as float also that's not an issue so keep the keep your input as integer do the same for y also now see i have done it so my input is going to be integer and my, my obviously my output is going to be integer so no need to worry about that so now save the program, go for run, save it. See, I'm going to enter two and three. Now I got the output, right? Two, three, five. As developer, I know that, yes, uh, X is equal to two, Y is equal to three, Z is equal to five. 
then so still I'm lagging I'm not able to show what is my question um, to user so user still the, they don't know um, what value I have they have to enter uh, in a console mode so for that simple see see here so in between the input so you what you have to do is so enter so it's optional but you can do it it's better otherwise user will not know um, the question is what is the question is so enter the value for x then for y so enter the value for y so now save it and run so it's asking to you right so it's simple way for us so now user will know 3 and 4 so you got the answer see still um, I have st I didn't study even single standard okay I didn't st uh, study LKG also so then how can I um, believe that addition of 3 plus 4 is 7 so see here it's 7 then how can I believe it so whether uh, my, my whether my input is my, my operation is right or not so I as a developer I know that yes addition of two number three plus four is seven yes you did it so but for users you have to make sure that your output is going to be like that so if you add x plus three x plus y you will get the value z as seven so so you have to give clear picture to the user okay so just make some more modification so in print statement make some things uh, like in string the sum of x and y is equal to z okay so here give some space okay so now save and run the program so it now we have enough space c 3 4 and the sum of x and y is 7 now uh, hopefully user will understood what's happening in our program right so this is how you have to deal a script mode as well as uh, user in getting user input uh, in python okay so the procedures are very simple um, if you have any doubts you can comment in comment section or you can uh, write to uh, wings lecture dot uh, wings, wings lecture dot, uh, dot, uh, gmail dot com and um, I hope you understood the logics and um, the procedures to get input from the user okay so it's very simple and if you have any doubts uh, you can comment in comment section don't hesitate to ask the doubt Python is very very simple programming language and we can do it okay thank you guys keep support bye bye